Hey, Covenant family, we're so glad you joined us today for our prayer focus. Uh, my name is Jamie Green, the Director of Children's Ministry here at Covenant, and today I'd like to focus on a piece of scripture from 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. And it reads, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. Now, when I think about God and praying and whether or not God hears our prayers, I'm I know it's comical, but I'm reminded of a, uh, a country song by the great Garth Brooks, uh, the great theologian Garth Brooks that talks about unanswered prayers. Um, and I know he visited the Circle City in 1992, so for some of you that saw him in concert, that's great. But um, I, would, I would caution you on this song. I think it's a good country song, but it's poor theology. Um, there's no doubt that God hears every one of our prayers. And um, the reason I know that, the reason I'm confident of that, as the scripture says here, is um, what God's holy word says about it. And I have found a few pieces of scripture, one from the Old Testament and a few from the New Testament. And let's, I wanna dive in and look at those. And so the psalmist in chapter 55 is writing about prayer and crying out to God. And in verses 16 and 17, says, but I will call on God, and the Lord will rescue me. Morning, noon, and night, I cry out in my distress, and the Lord hears my voice. And then in Revelation, I know that's a, a tricky uh, book of the Bible for some people, and, and I don't claim to have it figured out, but in my studies of Revelation, in chapter 5 and in, ver in chapter 8, you find two mentions of these golden bowls of incense, which are the, the prayers of this people. Uh, and verse 8 reads, from chapter 5, verse 8 reads, And when he took the scroll, the four living beings and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they held gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of God's people. And then in chapter 8, uh, verse, verses uh, three and four, we find, the, then another angel with a gold incense burner came and stood at the altar, and a great amount of incense was given to him to mix with the prayer of God's people as an offering on the gold altar before the throne. The smoke of the incense mixed with the prayers of God's holy people ascended up to God from the altar where the angel had poured them out. So based on God's holy word, which I know, which I believe to be accurate, 100%. We know that God hears our prayers and we, we hear of these golden bowls in, in heaven with God. And so I know that, that sometimes God may not answer your prayer the way you're seeking. See, I think, I think when we think of the characteristics of God, uh, yes, he's all powerful and, and, and he's mighty, but God is love and he's grace and he's mercy. And I know how much he loves his children because his word reminds us of that as well, that he desires to hear from us. I think he yearns to hear from us. He doesn't need to hear from us because he's all powerful and he's mighty, but I think he greatly desires to hear from us. And um, based on those characteristics alone, I am confident he hears our prayers. Now, I'm not sure what you're currently praying for right now and, and whether or not he's answered that prayer. Maybe the answer you've received lately is yes, and I celebrate that with you. Maybe it's no or maybe it's wait or not right now. And both of those latter two answers are not always what we seek. But we have to trust, knowing we know about God and his characteristics, that if he says no or not right now, just like with our children or with any young person we've been around that begs for things that they're not ready for, he can see more than we can see. His plan is bigger than, than we can even fathom. And so we have to trust that if the answer is no or not right now, then that is what's best for us instead of the yes we may be seeking. So as I wrap this up, I just, I just, I, I'll be in, I will be in prayer with you that no matter what you're praying for, if the answer is not yes, that you will be patient, that you will um, remain focused on God and your prayers to Him because He need, He really wants to hear them. He, he, he desires to hear them. And we need to have that communication with Him. And so I just encourage you to keep praying to him, keep, keep crying out to him. And it is my belief that he hears and he answers every one of our prayers. Thank you.